Hello, my name is Marcus and welcome to Tabletop Reviews, where as always I have a board game to review. Today it is Tic Tac KO, a simple uh, variation of Tic Tac KO. Uh, it has the underlying uh, Dragons vs Unicorns. Another game from Unstable Games, another pre-order, another Kickstarter. Very exciting, but let's uh, head to the table and see how it's set up and played. Alright, let's set up Tic Tac KO. Now the setup is the same no matter how many players you are. Yeah, we'll talk about the players of course a little bit later. But to start off with you will bring out the grid in the middle of it all and then each player gets either dragons or the unicorns deck. You shuffle it up, you draw up five cards each and then you take the objectives deck, also put it somewhat in the middle and each player gets one objective and that's the setup now you will more probably notice that there is a numbers and there are letters on the grid here um, the numbers grid is a 3x3 three three grid and is the symbol game whilst the letters add makes it a 4x4 four four grid and makes it more of an advanced gameplay you can decide beforehand how you want to play and the aim of the game is to complete three objectives. How do you uh, how do you uh, complete an objective? Well, if you at the end of the turn have laid out dragons in the grid to fill out all of the green uh, squares on your grid card, then you've completed that objective. You can show it to your opponent and your opponent's like, damn it, and you remove all the cards from the grid and draw a new objective ready to go. So that's our complete objective. Complete three of those and you win the game. Now, your individual turn consists of two phases. The first phase is the draw phase. You draw a card. And then you have uh, the phase where you play a card. Now, if you can't or won't play a card, you can always draw another card in this phase. Or you can play one of four different types of cards. They are the basic cards, basic dragon, basic unicorn depending on the deck you have. You have the special cards, of course special dragon, special unicorn, depending on the deck. They, you, they probably have a, um, <clears throat> a special ability when you play it into the grid uh, that do something, maybe when they're discarded. And of course we'll say on the card what their special ability are, is. You've got instant cards, and watch to the name. This is a card to play and then they do something right here now, and then they are discarded. And then you have magic cards. And these uh, range a little bit, they can be an instant as well, or maybe something that, uh, <clears throat> that happens across the turn. For this turn, you know, your turn and your opponent's turn, and then they are over. And that's it. It's a very simple and lovely game. You know, complete three objectives and you've won. Yeah, now um, let's head up to the couch again and talk about my final thoughts. And there we are, that's how you set it up and that's how you play it. Now let's talk about what I think. First of all, of course, the gameplay. What do you think of the gameplay? Well, I think it can be summed up in one word. Strategic tic-tac-toe. Sorry, I have to get used to that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's how we sum up. You have cards which you play out instead of your, your crosses and your circles. And of course they do something, they have a power, so it's, it's a bit more strategic than just going... So there's a few things you can do, of course, and you know, react to it. I think it's, it's a very simple game, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think it very much hits the Unstable Games model, which they're using right now. You know, if you think of Unstable Unicorn, Tear the Slay, Happy Little Dinosaurs, Wrong Party... Whatever. This is very much... Uh, Hitting those notes of the cutesy, lovely artwork, and just the simple gameplay, that's, that's actually pretty fun. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this, uh, the gameplay, I think. Uh, well, actually, I, I like that you have two grids, a more advanced and a more simple one. And when you say advanced, it's more like if you want to play for a little bit longer and have a little bit more of a challenge against your opponent, you have a 4x4 grid instead of a 3x3 grid. I like that. I like that you can start off. And then you can sort of say, okay, we want a longer gameplay, or we want a shorter gameplay, and you know. I think it's good, and it does involve you thinking a little bit, okay, this card does this, and this card does this, if I can get these ones used together. Yeah, 
And some interesting thing happens about the game. I, I think it's really a good, simple, fun game. Um, components. Well, as always, the artwork, and I mentioned it, it's this cutesy artwork. It's it's amazing. There's a reason that T Turtle and Unstable Games are as popular as they are as they are. It is definitely down to the gameplay and just yeah, no. <laughs> it's definitely down to the artwork and the gameplay matching this cutesy simple artwork. It's very lovely artwork, as always. The cards. Uh, it's pretty good quality. Uh, Unstable Games obviously mostly use cards for their games. So it's very important that they are of good quality and they most definitely are here. And the rulebook is it's a fold out. I've, I've said it in multiple episodes before. But Unstable Games are the ones that does the best. They really know how to do a good uh, rulebook in that style. And then we come to the grid. The little fold out grid. That is so terrible. I would rather have paid a little bit more and it be a like a cardboard fold out one, you know, a regular board. Cause it is so freaking terrible. Yes, it is just so bad. And you could probably see in the video it keeps on folding up. Because you can't really lay it down flat. Because it's it's paper which you fold it and laying in this box. It's not gonna go flat. And the cards don't weigh enough. So that is really a big complaint for me. Really just terrible. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, but the components are overall to the quality I expect from Unstable Games, definitely. Our theme, I mean, depending on how you view the fantasy creatures of dragon and unicorns, you know, because a lot of stories, you know, the unicorns is the significance of purity and beauty and good, and the dragons are more of like a chaos and evil. In that sense, it makes sense. Dragons versus unicorns, the battling are good versus evil. But for me, it's, it's really, there isn't really a theme to talk about. It's Tic Tac KO and you use dragons and unicorns instead of crosses and circles. And and really, I have looked through some of the powers. I can't recite all of them by head, but a lot of the powers are not, you know, oh, it makes sense because it's a dragon. Oh, it makes sense because it's a unicorn. It's mostly just, oh, okay, yeah, swap cards. Stop him from the playing a card, discard a card. Yeah. The theme isn't really there for me. You know, it's, it's tic-tac-toe, a little bit fancy, as I said in the gameplay. So, for me, the theme isn't really there. But I can see, maybe, you know, Dragons vs. Unicorn. I can I can kind of see that, but it's not something I feel when I play. Uh, does it lie to you, the big question? So, on the side, it says, <clears throat> 2 to 4 players, ages 8 and up, 30 to 60 minutes. 30 to 60 minutes uh, makes sense, yeah. I think we have gone a game that's only lasted like 20 minutes, but... Again, it's 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 about there, right? Ages eight and up. I say I think I say this every time, but like depending on the person's level of in a knowledge of English, maybe we can go a little bit lower. Like it's not that difficult. I think it I think it fits very well here. Then you have two to four players. This is a two-player game. I re I've read the rules for you know a three-player game is like no. The, the rules are weird for that. And a four player game is because they want to push this to, you know, more players together. That's what they do with all the games. But it makes more sense to be four players because then you're in a team of two, you know, and then player 1A, and then player 1B, and then player 2A, and then player 2B, and then 1A. And that makes a little bit more sense than three players where it's basically one team has two, and then, it's, you know, it's player A, 1A, 1B, player A. Player 2B, player A. It's 2 or 4. And it's mostly 2. This is a pl 2 player game. End of discussion. I I'm sorry. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't make sense with the 3 player and the 4 player. It just makes more sense. It is definitely designed to be 2 player and they plastered some more players on. But my final score for this one is actually going to be a 7 out of 10. Yes, I actually really like this one, the artwork and just the simple gameplay. And the fact that it's so easy to pull out and be like, yo, let's go for a quick game. And it's a lot of the time if I'm really tired, my girlfriend's really tired, and like, you want to play a game maybe? Tick, tick, KO. It's so simple to pull out and it doesn't take a lot of setup and it's so easy. Um, there's a few others, I think Unstable Unicorns really do, does these games really well and that's why it's a high score for me, 7 out of 10. And am I keeping it? Yes, of course I'm keeping it. 
is another unstable games that's gonna stay in my collection for an eternity. <laughs> Maybe not. But yeah, another great game for unstable unicorn. Uh, unstable games. But that's also the end of another episode of uh, <clears throat> Tabletop Reviews. <laughs> hope you enjoyed and hope you'll join me in the next one. Bye!